third last question, do you pledge an honest effort to work equally well with all elected officials for the good of Lincoln County? Without question. I believe that is one of the things riding on the ballot this election is the fact that I am willing and I am proven as someone that will extend a hand to work with anyone. I know as a lifelong resident of Lincoln County and as someone that has been involved with many grassroots organizations and volunteer groups that working together you can make things happen. No one is going to come to Lincoln County and fix things for us and there's no magic wand that's going to be waved. It's up to us to work together to make this a better county and if we don't do it, no one's going to come here and do it for us. Sanitary sewage service has been a subject of debate in the Allen Creek area of the county. How important do you feel it is to the long-term future of the area to install public sewage service at Allen Creek and other parts of Lincoln County? I think it's vital. I'm very disappointed that we don't have public sewer provided and offered already in the Allen Creek area as well as other parts of the county. I've talked to business owners from the Charleston area that have decided to relocate to other areas and not build in Lincoln County in the Allen Creek area because the infrastructure did not exist. As a commissioner I've already had meetings and, and talked to not only people at the county level but the state level and uh, researched the uh, topic of public sewer to see what it is that we can do as county commissioners to push this process faster because I know that we live in a world that everyone wants things right now and we live in a McDonald's world but that's not the way county government works. County government and state government and federal government is very slow so if we want sewage now then we better start now because it's still going to take us one to two years to get the process underway and uh, I believe that providing sewer for that area will al allow Lincoln County Commission and the other government offices to grow because it will provide a substantial tax base that we now don't have. We're losing because we don't have that infrastructure in place and it's sad for this county and as a county commissioner I will work as hard as I can to make that become a reality. Okay. Our final question. Being a county commissioner is more than just attending around two dozen meetings per year. How much time per week do you think you would spend on commission matters if elected? Well, anyone that knew me, even as a school board member, knew that I was probably one of the most dedicated school board members, not only in this county, but statewide. I really extended myself to meet with as many parents and teachers and visit schools, and as a county commissioner, I've even upped the ante. I have a constant presence at the courthouse. I'm digging through um, the budget. I'm looking at every piece of information I can to become a better county commissioner. I've attended county commission trainings. I've went to meetings related to coal and other uh, oil and gas, extractive industry. And um, I don't know if you can really set a time because I see my position as a salaried position and uh, maybe one week it's going to require me to be in the office five days a week but maybe in the next week I could be there two days a week. It just depends on what is going on at that given time but one thing I can promise the people of Lincoln County with me is they will have a full-time county commissioner just as they did a full-time school board member when I was on the school board. I believe that if you are not actively involved in the office that you hold the people lose out and I promise them that I will be there for them anytime and in er every way that I can be. Thomas Remy, thank you very much. Thank you. That concludes the second of our interviews with the candidates for this year's elections. Look out for further interviews in the print edition of the Lincoln Journal and online at www.lincolnjournal.com. Thank you. Good job.